Hello, welcome to the channel. Today I will show you how to create this model here in FreeCAD as a practical exercise. So here we go to FreeCAD and in this search page click in create new and here change to part design of bench. Now create board and create a new sketch. This first sketch in XY plane. Okay, in this first sketch what we want to do is to create the sketch for this for this part here this bottom part so come back to this sketch and go to sketch drummers and here select this rounded rectangle tool and draw this rectangle now select this match constraint and constrain these two points of this rectangle to this origin point and now what you have to do is to give dimensions to this sketch so in this page we see we can see that we can see these dimensions here 120 and 50 and the radius of these fillets here is 5 so first we select this tool here and we constrain the radius of this arc to 5 Okay, and now we select this horizontal distance tool and we select these two points. We set the length to 120. And now select this vertical distance tool, select these two points. And here will be fifth. Okay, so now close this sketch and press on, go to this pad tool. Okay, here in this page we see that the value of the path is 6, this value here, and we change here to 6 and click OK. And next we select this face here and we create a new sketch. In this sketch we will draw these three cycles. Okay, so these cycles have a diameter of 6. The distance between these two cycles is okay this dimension so we come back to this sketch and first we select the cycle tool and we draw three cycles okay and now we select all cycles and we make these cycles equal clicking this icon and now select this horizontal constraint and constrain this three points okay now we know that the diameter of the cycles is okay the diameter is six we can we can see in this page diameter is six and the distance between the center of the cycles is Instead, so here we select this vertical distance tool and we select this point and this origin point. Here we'll set 15. Okay, and now we will constrain the distance between these cycles. So here we see H, 50, and 35. So here we set. 35 and the distance between this point to this point we set 50 and now we select this tool and extract this edge here so again select this horizontal distance tool and click in this center point and now this end point and here set H now close this sketch go to pocket tool and here we change this length to 6 ok change here to 6 and now you can see these walls so click ok and now what you have to do is to go to model and here select this pocket operation and go to mirrored future and here we change the plane to exit plane and now we can see these 6 walls click ok and now the next step is to create a new sketch in this face. So select this face here and create a new sketch. Okay, in this sketch we'll draw a sketch for this part here. 
so we come back to this model and first we select these two here is external geometry filter okay and extra this edge here and now select this polling tool and do this through this sketch press some two times and now click in this point here okay now select this tangent constraint and make this line and this arc tangent okay and now escape and click in this center point select this center point and this origin point and make vertical constraint and now now we select this horizontal distance tool which we set the limit of this line to 50 it's okay and now here we see that the distance between these the origin point to to the center of this arc here is 56 okay and the radius here is 12 so first we select this vertical distance tool select this origin point and now this center point and set 56 and now select this constraint here and here we set 12 and close the sketch press home and now we select this sketch here ring click on mouse and go to attachment editor so here we'll change the value of the duration so here in this page we see that the distance between this line here to this is 10 so we we'll change this duration to 10 Okay, will be minus 10. Click OK and now select this sketch again and click in this pad tool. Here check this option, reverse it. And here in this page you see that the value of the pad is 6. So we change this dimension to 6 and now click OK. And next we select this space here and we create a new sketch. Here we go to this tool here, select this tool and extract this edge here. Now select this cycle tool and draw two cycles between this center point. Okay, now in this page we see that we see the values of the diameter of the cycle. So this first cycle have a diameter of 15 and this 20. So we come back to this model and here we select this constraint diameter tool and we set this diameter to 15 and this to 20 and now close this sketch. Now right click on mouse and go to attachment editor and here we change the Z duration to Three millimeters. And click OK. And now we select this sketch again and go to this pad tool. Okay, here we see a pad of 15. So we change here to 15 and check this option, similar to plane. And now we see this. So click OK. And now go to this pad here click in this arrow and double click in this sketch switch to section view and here select this cycle tool click in this vertical line and draw these two cycles okay here in this page you see that the value the diameter of these cycles is 12 and 16 so select this constraint tool and here we set 12 and here set 16 and you can see that the distance between the center points of the cycles is 26 so select this vertical distance tool and click in these two center points and here we set 26 okay close the sketch and now you see this okay and now 
now the next step is to create this part here a zone so we come back to this model and here we select this we select this face and we create a new sketch in this face go to sketch geometry and here select this external geometry and extract this edge these two edges and here select this pole line tool and draw this sketch click in this point and now here press them three times and select this point now drag this point here and select this tangent constraint make this arc and this line tangent okay so now what you have to do is to give dimensions to this sketch so in this page we see this angle we see this dimension here we see a radius of 12 so here we select this tool and we set the radius of this up to 12 and select this horizontal this vertical distance tool click in this origin point and now this center point and we set fifth okay the distance is fifth and next what you have to do is to select this angle constraint tool click this line and this line and here we set 45 and now close this sketch okay and here right click on mouse and go to attachment editor here we change the z duration again so the value of z duration will be 34 so we change here to minus 34 and click ok now select this sketch again and go to this path tool check this option reverse it and here set 6 ok here the path is 6 so click ok and now select this space here and create a new sketch use this tool to extract this edge here and now select the cycle tool and draw two cycles in this center point so here we see that we see these dimensions here 12 and 20 for the diameters so select this tool here we set 12 and here 20 and close this sketch and click on mouse and go to attachment editor and here we change the value of z duration to minus 3 again ok and now click ok and select this sketch again go to pad tool and here we set the value to 12 but first check this option here and change this dimension to 12 and now click ok so now you can see this okay the next step is to create a new sketch now in XZ plane switch to section view and now we will draw this a sketch for this face here so go to sketch drummers and yes I like this this line tool and draw the sketch in this way okay so now we go to sketch geometry again and select this external geometry tool and we extract this edge here and now this edge and this edge okay we select these two points and vertical constraint and here will be constant okay and these two points constant too okay and now we'll give dimensions to the sketch 
so okay guys here we see this dimension for the five we see here 16 and we see this this dimension here 20 and 5 here so first we select this vertical distance tool we set this distance to 5 and here to 20 okay and the length of this line we can say 18 Okay, we can say 17 and now select this horizontal distance tool, select this line and set 6 and this and here the dimension will be 45. Okay, select this point and this point set 16. Okay, so now the sketch is full constrained. Close the sketch and now select this pad tool. Check this option, smart to plane, and here we set six. Yes, we set six and click OK. And now to create walls in these faces here, we select this three faces and we go to pocket tool here we change this link to 10 so okay we can see these walls and now click ok so as you can see this model is finished thank you for watching this video